Surface Planer Basics. The surface planer is the tool that we use to make flat faces and the board uniform thickness. Let's begin by going over some basic components. Here's a picture of the surface planer and we're looking at the front of the machine. The table in the front is called the infeed table. How you raise and lower it is by turning the adjustment wheel. If we turn the adjustment wheel clockwise, the table will raise or get closer to the cutter head. When we turn the wheel counterclockwise, the table will lower. Behind the adjustment wheel is the on off power button and the red ruler. The infeed table has an arrow that aligns up with different measurements on the red ruler. You need to be able to know and identify where this arrow is when you're getting ready to set up the machine. These four things we need to be able to identify and understand what they do before we can set up the machine to plane a piece of lumber. So what do we use the surface planer for? Well, if you're looking at this solid piece of lumber, you can see that the face is incredibly rough. We use the planer to make flat faces and the board the same thickness down its entire length. Notice how I said lumber. We would never try to run a piece of plywood on the surface planer. Plywood already has flat faces, so there's no reason to try to make it thinner by running it through the surface planer. If you're unsure on how to identify a plywood, just look at the side. If it looks like it has a bunch of stripes or a bunch of layers, that's the veneers that have been glued and pressed all together. So let's move to setup and operation. Remember, we are trying to make flat faces and the board have a same thickness down its length. So the first thing that you're gonna do is use a ruler and measure the thickest part of your board. Once you have that dimension, you're gonna set the surface planer's infeed table by turning the adjustment wheel so that the arrow on the table aligns up with the measurement on the red ruler. So our goal of getting a flat face and a uniform thickness will be achieved if we set the planer up correctly. Setting the infeed table to the thickness of our board is only step one. We have to raise the table one quarter to one half a turn to make sure that the cutter head and its knives can reach the board. Before you turn the machine on and try to run a board, make sure you open the blast gate so that the exhaust can take away all the wood chips. As you feed the material into the front of the machine, an infeed roller is going to grab the board from you and an outfeed roller is going to hand it to you on the other side. So there's no reason to have your hands anywhere near the openings of this machine. You're going to have to make multiple passes to achieve two flat faces. So after each pass, flip the board and remember to raise the table one quarter to one half a turn so that the blades can reach the face of the board again. Continue this process until you get two flat faces and the desired thickness that you're trying to achieve. This concludes the basic safety instruction on the surface planer. Let's get back in the shop so we can get back to building.